Hello, it's Uncommon Fossil here. I've been playing Pokemon TCG Live now for about a week since the beta has become available globally. Uh, working through things, got getting some of the the decks on the versus la on the rewards ladder and such. But wanted to go over a free deck that I put together on my own. As, as you're probably familiar, you get eight starter decks that are all they're decent. Um, but I wanted to put together a deck of my own using just the cards you get from, from the these from these starter decks. So it's a deck anyone can put together as soon as they start the game. And it's Suicune Inteleon, uh, using Inteleon VMAX and Suicune V. Uh, that's in between two of the decks. And, and I also want, it, like the Inteleon line, being an alt alternate water attacker and just a really good engine, which is in like the Decidui deck and I believe in the Urshifu deck. So there's not a good way to view a deck, unfortunately, in live, but so I'm going to do the best I can. Uh, if I hit edit deck, it makes the cards a little bigger, but they're just on the right-hand side. Ignore all these larger cards on the left. Th these are the cards I could choose from to build my deck. I, 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 there's not a good deck view in live at this point. I assume they will eventually. I know people want it, so hopefully they will. So anyway, jumping in the deck, I have two Suicune Vs. I'd like more. It's a good Pokemon, but that's all you start with. And then Inteleon VMAX, a 2-2 line. Again, that's what you start with. Uh, a decent attacker. Inteleon VMAX takes three energy, so that's not ideal, but it is good. And then they attack for 60 with one energy, and you put an energy back in the hand to slow them down. Uh, and then I run the Inteleon engine, one a 1-1 one, one split of the single prize Inteleon. the one with quick shooting, does 20 damage, uh, and one shady dealings that will draw. And that's also a pretty good attacker, which, which I'll use sometimes for two energy. It does 120 and puts 20 on one of the bench Pokemon. I probably would like a second Sword and Shield Inteleon in the deck, but it, it, I don't have that. Um, I do have more of the... Uh, pinging Inteleons, but I don't know that I want that. I've considered that. Energy, basically water energy, 11 of those, one capture energy just to help the deck set up. Um, and then and then, and then the trainers itself, Raihan, which is good for, for if you get knocked out, you can accelerate an energy from the basic energy from the discard. So they all take water to attack with. So I play a bunch of basic water. So that works well. It's a good way to set up the Intel, single prize Inteleon to attack in one turn because that's two energy. Accelerate one, attach another, and you have a decent attacker there. Play some rope. Level Ball, Melanie, which you're probably familiar with. You certainly should be a very good supporter. It ex attaches an Water Energy from the discard pile to one of your Vs, and you draw three cards. So with that, you can power up a Suicune V in one turn. It still takes two turns, however, to get up in the Italian V Max with their big attack. Play a couple Path because I don't really... Suicune V's ability is nice, but it's not essential, so Path is... Good at slowing down other decks. I play one rare candy. It's nice to get up the Intel, a stage two Inteleon at times quickly. Um, switch, research, level ball, ultra ball, incense, all, all those cards, and, and, and level ball. I don't know if I said that or not. Uh, research, Marnie, boss. I don't play a lot of those. They're low counts of these supporters, particularly only two research, one Marnie, two boss. But with the Intellion Engine, if you have a Drizzile, can get to that. You can select the supporter you want on the turn you need it. So you can go with lower cop copies. Capacious Bucket's a really nice card. It searches for two water energy. So that's water is the one card, one type that has this really nice basic energy search. Instead of just one with energy search, you search for two with Bucket, which is really good because you, need, you get two energies. If you can quick ball one away, you get one of the discard to Melanie on to say your Suicune V, and then you can attach, manually attach the other one that you still have in hand. So it's a, w a really nice way. Those, getting two at a time really helps the deck function. Two nets there a way to kind of reset the Inteleons, the Drizzile, so you can use those more. So that's the deck I have. Let's see, get out of the editor. Suicune is my active deck. I'm just double checking that. I'm going on to the ladder, the ranked ladder. Um, now it's decks okay. I gotta say the Suicune Inteleon deck, it's not great. I think it's probably comparable to all the starting decks you get. I think it plays a little smoother for me, 
but uh, it suits my play style, whether it suits your play style or not, and I don't know. I've been progressing up the rank ladder, which is nice, and therefore at this point, m my decks I'm up against are probably better than the starting decks, and therefore I'm going to struggle, because really, I don't think this deck is much of an improvement on the starting deck. I have some better decks I put together, and I'll do some videos on that probably in the near future. So I drag out my Sobble to start. That's not bad. Actually, I wasn't paying attention there. And I don't know if I'm going first or second. And since there's no game log, it doesn't tell me. The other thing, once the game gets started, uh, at the edges, the red or blue banding glows yellow, whose, whose turn it is. I think, I wish they would just have it glow yellow at, before you play your card so you know who's going first. So I am first, which I like that. I cannot get a card in play, though. So let's, I will bench a Sobble, attach an energy that way if they knock out the active i'm okay because i'll have an energy in the discard to be able to melanie the problem is i don't have a v down to melanie too i don't have i i i, I do have level ball to get me one drizzle um but with that i could get like a quick ball use that to to uh, get a, say, Suicune V, which I could attack with. However, I don't have, I need a Melanie in hand also to get it. Um, I don't think I can do much next turn. I'm, I'm going to need to top deck something decent. Let's go in the Lost Zone. I, 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 I wish it showed as a stack. I find it, I don't know. To me, I don't love the fact that it's this little circle it disappears into. Anyway, they didn't get off their attack, but I'm probably going to be in trouble. So, uh, that's actually pretty good. So let's think. So if I grab a Drizzile, I'll hit show all to see. I'm going to want to attack with Suicune V. Uh, no, it's not going to work, is it? It's not going to work. Um, probably, well, I could get, I'm going to have to get lucky here. That's That's what I can say. So, I'm going to retreat him back. I'm going to get a quick ball to get and then I can use this to discard an energy. I really still have to get very lucky. Um, I don't know if I should, which intelligent which Sobble I should have evolved. So I want to get an energy in the discard, I guess. Uh, although I'm going to retreat him, so I don't know that it's going to matter. Um, I haven't attached per turn, so it's still in theory, in theory I could attack. I'm going to retreat here. Um, push him up, and now I have to get real lucky with this. I need Melanie or something that will give me access to Melanie to be able to attack this turn. I get a path, which I uh, don't love. Um, Hmm, this isn't good. So what am I going to do? I guess I'm going to attach. I'm going to throw it on path. I'm going to research, and I'm probably going to lose this game. That's most like. I'm, in fact, I am. I'm going to concede. So, as you see, the deck it doesn't always work great, but none of the starter decks do. Like I said, it's probably on. The level of that there you can see the graphics of what happens when someone wins or loses you still get get move up the versus ladder though uh what that i think the this 15 with the pokeball is what is the versus yeah the bat i'm sorry the battle pass i have to get my lingo right so let's try another game see if we get something a little better the deck does not always start well and if i'm up against a strong deck like i was in that game i, I think i'm in trouble too so a good start and not a great opponent. So that's the... Well, we'll see what I'm up against here. I think, is this the coin for the Lugia deck? i am got to say, I'm not entirely sure. So I get to choose to go first. That is a plus. At least it usually is. Uh, sometimes if you, you can't get... Usually you want to get a, a turn to set up. So that's not bad. It's an interesting one. How am I going to play this? All right, we'll see what I top deck. Yeah, so Lugia could be, depending how good their Lugia deck is. Uh, so do I want to get rid of the water energy? Water in the 
discard is very good. I think I do. And then I'm going to have to Melanie next turn. And that's okay. So I'll grab a Sobble. Let's take a look. I mean, a Suicune. Let's see. I have another Suicune. I have all my Inteleons. All right. Away we go. And then I end turn. They probably play Crobat V in their deck, so Path would help slow them down. It would have been a thought, but Lugia... Okay, so this is the beginning Lugia deck. Uh, when, as you work up the the, la the battle pass, up the tiers, sorry, in the battle pass, you get a better deck than this. So I've got a chance, because they're, they're having to get to the Archaeops largely from... <laughs> The unseen, the unidentified fossil, which is not the best way to do it. But are they getting? So they're getting the uh, Archaeops in hand, not the discard. Lugia V Star can accelerate them from the bench. So they discarded the two Archaeops. So Path can stop them for me, and that would be very good. Now I'm going to have to get out of the active. So perhaps I should have attached to the Sobble in the active. Then I could have retreated throwing the energy in the discard. Um, we'll see what happens. Like They're probably not going to knock me out this turn, and I may have an awkward turn. So yeah, Bidoof, it plays a Bidoof engine in the um, the basic Lugia V-Star deck. Now, it's quite nice in terms of the, bent of, of the rewards that you get as soon as you start off you, on the uh, versus ladder. The um, sorry, the battle pass, the free one you get a Lugia V Star deck, so that's not bad. So I'm going to first Melanie. Okay, that's not bad either. So I want to I want a Drizzile. So what do I want to do? Drizzile. Let me see what I get. Just playing things out a little bit. I is I have net good. I have so I'm gonna net my active Pokemon. I have energy to attach. That's all good. You get to see the effects, which I don't care about, but it's fine. Doesn't bother me. Net. What am I? I'm probably gonna play the second Drizzile. I wonder what I'll get. I'm, not really thinking the game through as well as I should, but so grab this Drizzile, Suicune forward, use the ability. I'm going to play path before my turn ends, so I want to use my ability on my V before I path myself out. So that play path, energy, Inteleon. Um, do I? Hmm. Right now, what's my damage level? 120. All right, it's not great. Let's now this deck list. Do I play? I don't think I play um, the tool to uh, boost the damage by 30. That's all right. So what do I want here? What kind of card do I want? Do I want to get another Suicune? Maybe I want a Suicune in play. So I will grab a Quick Ball. That's okay. So Quick Ball. Do I get rid of Ultra Ball? It's a bit of a risk, but I think I'm going to get rid of the Ultra Ball. And then throw a Suicune down. If I get knocked out, I have Suicune for next turn. And now I'm doing 140, so I can gives me the possibility for perhaps a knockout next turn. So they drew, had lucky energy, so they drew an extra card. See what happens. This is a game, a matchup I could win. Uh, the thing I like Lugia V Star. I played it some in live um, with a slightly improved deck. I, it, I the thing it comes down to. Turn two, I find, do I get my bench set? Do I get the thick game set up? 
on turn two. If I do, I'm in great shape. I feel like with Lugia, if it's not set up, I don't feel good. So they're going to get Lugia V-Star, I imagine. No, another Lugia. So that's not a good sign for them. See, they need to get Lugia V-Star down and um, exfoliate the arc gaps. The problem is, if they can't bump my path, they can't get their Lugia, their arc gaps down. Now, they, they still have an unidentified fossil, so as long as they play at least a third Archaeops, I believe there's two in the discard. Yeah. So there's... Uh, okay. They discarded Silene, which is fine. All right, so I have Knockout this turn. That is quite nice. Uh, I'll Evolve there. Throw down a Capture Energy to... And uh, I'll throw down another Sobble. Help fill up my bench with them. I still think I just play three Drizz Isles. I, I, uh, let's think here. Oh, I, I, I'm silly. I needed to do... Oh, no, I did. Oh, I can't Fleet Footed. That's right. So I think I want to Sobble for something here. Um, hmm. So if I... I would like to probably Melanie, so can I Melanie? No, I don't think I can, and that's okay. Um, hmm. So my bench here, Raihan, so... I'll just get incense for next turn to help set things up. And I will take knockout. That's okay. So I take two prizes. Take the lead. Uh, Got to make sure I select them. That's, that's a very nice set of cards. I got my third Drizza, which and a water, so I can Melanie next turn. But they do have one Archops in place, so they can attack with a Lugia V-Star this turn. Path doesn't affect Archeops. Is a, oh, no, I'm sorry. That's not... That's Arkin, the stage one. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so they, they did not rare candy to evolve into the Archeops. Did they... Have they recovered Archeops yet? All right. Um... Still have two Archaeops in the discard. They bossed up my Suicune, which is okay. I can ex I can access Melanie though, so that's quite nice. I can also no, unless I get knocked out, I can't attack with Intellion this turn. Which so that's fine. The the single prize Intellion because that does one twenty. I could knock out the barrel with a single prizer, but that's fine. A bucket. I will play him. I need to. Yes, let me look, though. I don't believe I have energy here. No energy. It's fine. Um, so let me, I do believe I have the Sword and Shield Inteleon, so I'm going to want to play him. So I want... I need to discard an energy. So grab the Quick Ball. I discard... A water energy. I have bucket, so that's great. I have access to more water. And do what Pokemon do I want? I grab him. I don't. Really, I mean, I can't play a Pokemon. I don't care. I could have left it, but it meant better to thin the deck. So now I grab him. I think if I if I have a net, I probably want another net. But let's see here. I want Melanie for sure. That's the most important card. I'm down to one. Okay, so one is prized, I believe. And yeah, I'll take a net to reset my Inteleon. So this is going nicely. Melanie. You drag it, what you drag and what you click, I'm still learning. Alright, I don't even need to use the bucket. I have the 
energy. I am going to scoop up the Intellion. Gives me access to Drizzile or that and that Intellion next turn. And I will just attack 160 and take the knockout. So the game's so that you can see the deck works pretty well. Um, Melanie is a really a nice card, and, and having the Drizzile engine, being all water Pokemon, using Melanie, Raihan, water energy, it's a nice mix of things. It's a deck that I'm fairly comfortable with. I think there'd be slightly better builds of it with some other cards. And in this deck list, I could tweak some too. If you have thoughts about how to improve the deck list with either cards in the starting sets or other cards that aren't in it, just let me know. You know, I would prefer to play maybe just four Suicunes and drop the Inteleon VMAXs or replace the Inteleon VMAXs with Ice Rider VMAXs. I, that, that's, Ice Rider VMAX is a better card because it, generally speaking, because it attacks for two instead of three. And you do get a 1-1 one, one Ice Rider VMAX in the Suicune deck. The reason I don't use it here, though, is I just think 1-1's one, too thin. It's not enough attackers in my opinion so i'm going to what do i send up here i'm pretty sure i should uh, stoich spells is the card i don't have in deck and that's okay um do i play uh, boss i must play boss do i i could do that maybe i'll attack with suicune and i've got all right, so we bump my path. Um, okay, well, I have game here. So let me see the simple. I might as well I'll do this, see if I hit what I need. No, I will play. His damage level is 120. Actually, I don't have game here, do I? That's okay, though. Um, I will... No, let me... I'll bench him. I will Raihan to set up my Inteleon VMAX for next turn. And what card do I... And I get to choose a card. So let me choose a boss, because that really gives me what I want. I could get a, a path, but that's... I'm not overly concerned about that. I think I want boss next turn. Um, did I attach per turn? Let me, let me let me play a bucket to thin two. I all right now I did not attach per turn. I thought I thought that was the case. So I'm gonna get down I'll throw down that energy there. And now I will oh I could ping um, I could ping, so let's, I do, what's the damage there, 140. So I will ping the benched guy, that just kind of gives me more options, right? No, oh, okay. I gotta drag it. You don't click, you drag. I just gotta remember these things, so. And I'll just attack for 140, and they should have, I mean, they, they could cause me some trouble. They need to Marnie me so I don't have game and which means they can't boss me. They could rope me to, to switch. I mean if they played cross switcher but I'm pretty sure but the they, they deck doesn't play that. They would have had to customize it to get that and I, they're using the the cards that you get from the not the ladder but the verse well the from the battle pass which I guess is a ladder too I'm, I'm not sure that yeah I guess it's the battle pass ladder as opposed to the versus ladder so I should have game this turn um, no I, I don't have game this turn well let me we'll see what happens I have boss in hand so he's got 140 he just did 140, and they have more bench Pokemon. He has to Marnie me so that I can't boss for game. He's getting a lot of energy in play. You know, I need three prizes. His thought is I he making me get get through three 
single prizers uh, to win the game, but that's really not going to work because it's got 140. I do 160, so it doesn't matter. I have game this turn, period. Unless I'm missing something really obvious, so I will just I two prizes, right? Oh wait, I, I I'm just being silly. I don't have game this turn, do I? So quick shooting. Drag it there again. I'm I'm playing very poorly here, aren't I? So I need to I want to knock him out. And I want to not lose this game. I think that's fair to say. So I will evolve him so I can I have him as an attacker next turn too. With I could double ping. No, I, I used up all my nets, I believe. So I'm just going to attack. I'm going to throw 60 on the one that already has the 40, so that gets it to 100. Oh, I have to drag it. I just some of, some of those things I'm not in sync with the game yet. So. Okay, four, five, they number them with the kind of, in a sense, it's obviously you don't have to do that order, but they kind of are implying that's the order you should take. Um, I, all right, so he cannot, he needs two prizes this turn. He does 120. Um, he can't knock me out. He Even if he heals all the damage, he's just delaying the inevitable, I'm pretty sure. At this point, I have one prize left. I do 160. He could gust up another Pokemon. Then, it, but I do have Switch. He doesn't necessarily know that, but I can. He can't get a Pokemon stuck such that I can't attack. So that's a good play. That's the right play from his perspective, for sure. Uh oh, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So I'm okay. It should do 160. Um, is he? Can he get more? energy. No. So that's it. In theory, if he got all four powerful energy on, he would have one-shot me. So that was a good game. Uh, it was a smart play by him. I have switch, so that's game. I don't know if I say I'll just give him that, and I don't know if that comes across as insulting or not. I don't know. I'd like to say good game or something, but I can't do that, so that's okay. Although I think my character says, might say GG at the end. We'll see what my victory phrase is. All right, so one tells you how you won two. Uh, went better than expected. So that's fine too. Um, so that was a good game. I need. Um, so anyway, so that that's the deck. You can see how it works there. I've actually completed another level of the battle pass. I, um, I I can show that show how that works too. Ten tier ten completed. I, I now I need to retreat. Pay attention one of the things to your daily quests. I need to re retreat for Pokemon. So I want to make sure you I you make sure you know what they are. And you finish your daily quests every day. So I'm going to collect all, and I will see what it'll kind of show me as I go through it too. So I can just wait and see. So I get credits which are that's towards crafting which is nice I get a, a blue beanie a, a dark two different blue beanies oh so I got radiant Gardevoir so it takes 20 less from opponents Pokemon V that can be useful a choice belt which, which I might want in this deck I gotta say I have two of those now and a silver tempest pack I think three actually so let's see it goes through my first one of that and it tells you the number, because then eventually if you get to four, um, it starts to get crystal. So I'm on my third pack. There are all packs of five, which is a little odd. I would prefer that they would just that they made them packs of ten, which is the excuse me, the norm, but just make them a little harder to get. Almost star V. And then pull the V, always nice to do. Um get starting to get two to get three so maybe i'll start to pull crystal soon oh i'm at the limit so arc arcan which i you probably get in, i get in the starter set ah finally an earthen stone seal very nice card so not that that can be as useful yet but so some decent rewards there got some more uh things to help craft so over two thousand and uh 
there you go. That's the deck. It works okay, like I said. Can win, can lose, as you've seen. Take care.